So today we're going to do a little bit of a, a walk around and review on the Luna Clubman SI. So 2015 this one, um, 1465 kilograms maximum weight, so the MTPLM. The MRO or the empty weight as it sits here now is 1310 and about 24 foot from very very front to very back. Nice outside locker. Let's open that one up. I've got a feeling we've got a external 240 volt socket in that one so this will double up as a, a wet locker, muddy boots etc into there and then little power socket so you can have power out into the awning. We've got the barbecue point at the front there, so that'll come off the main gas at the front. So we can run the power or the gas off of our barbecue point. And then we've got a big locker on these. These have got a really, really big front locker. We've got the 13 pin electrics. We've got the Alco ATC. And then look at the size of that locker. So you can get two bottles. Can you get two bottles in there? Yes, yeah. you can. Yeah, room for two bottles. Uh, and then lots of other sp other stuff in there. You do just have to keep these little areas clear because the, the arms sort of fold back into there. So uh, just always make sure that they're clear. Down the other side, I think we've just got our flu for our Aldi central heating, our water pump plugs in, our battery, and then we've got the cassette toilet at the back. Overall, it's a nice van, it's not been knocked around, it's a uh, nice clean tide. You've got a motor mover on there as well. You've got a couple of little dents just there, but nothing major. And then inside... You've got an external locker under the bed, is that? Ah, yes, yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Well spotted. Uh, and then look at that roof light. That's the, uh, that hits you straight away as you come in. Uh, it's got the little lighting around and all the cabinets. have got the lighting above at the front some quite handy little sockets there so we've got a 230 volt socket we've got an aerial point a satellite aerial point a normal tv aerial and actually a 12 volt socket as well so we could put a tv at the front here if we wanted and then the little table just for coffees and drinks and etc just on the side there is also another tv point just on that side as well so you could have a tv here if you didn't want one at the front and again we've got all of our sockets there so a couple of options there or even when you're in the kitchen area talking about the kitchen area a little fold up unit there as well just to make a little bit more worktop but that's quite a good solid worktop that is lots of space and we've only got one 230 volt socket in the kitchen area though um so just just that one but then i suppose we have got room over there for other stuff if you've got the TV at the front so yeah it depends how you want it got the microwave lots of storage uh, we've got a light above there so we must have a switch somewhere for that um, have we can't find it oh there it is hiding hiding um, so yeah oh, that's little, nice isn't it little light in that cupboard plenty of storage above the kitchen area as well uh, loads of storage actually a little drinks cabinet look at that we found the drinks nice, cabinet that's what we've been looking for yeah. um nice lighting in the bedroom area our overhead and then we've got our spotlights and the little lights above again a slimmer a slimmer you oh, wardrobe and a bigger wardrobe so fight over who's going to get that wardrobe and then the bed slides out um, good size that is um Normally when you pull these out, you, you literally have to shuffle around like that, but that's, that's not a bad size. I can pretty much walk around properly around that. And again, if you are that bit smaller like me, you can actually leave that tucked in too. So um, quite a bit of options there. Nice storage underneath the bed. Uh, all of our electrics and what have you are up the front on this, so we don't lose any of the bed space. A lot of the vans now, oh, I found another light switch. What does that do? Um, I don't know, that's it. There'll be a little light somewhere. That's the little Luna one on the bottom. Oh, look. There it is. Luna. Uh, so, under a lot of the fixed beds now, you tend to find that your electrics 
your main power unit electrics unit is under the bed so it takes a bit of room from underneath the bed but on this one we've got our boiler so we've got the Aldi central heating boiler uh motor mover our pressure switch our water pipes and everything all underneath here and all of our fuses all there so that uh makes life a little bit easier to be fair and gives us complete room underneath that bed i'm looking at the washroom nice nice size washroom and we've got the aldi central heating water pipe now have a look at that toilet as well uh, that's not your normal Thetford no i thought that looks a bit toilet. Of dometic uh, it's a dometic and is, is that ceramic give it a tap no plastic plastic uh, it's not the ceramic one it looks like the ceramic one so, uh, just double checking, just double checking. Uh, so yeah, nice fun. Um, this makes into a seating area, or the, the front seating area makes into a double bed. So again, you have got the option of using that as two singles, smaller singles, or the double. Going back to the kitchen area, we've got plenty of storage with our little pull-out units. I've got the freestanding table in here as well so you can have that either at the front or if you have an awning you can put that outside and then we've got our three gas rings and our electric ring quite nice under that black needs a clean um it's just a bit of a, a polish but yeah quite nice under that black top hopefully um we've shown you around ah two seconds you've missed oh. the fact that there's um an aerial TV. point and a socket in a bedroom as well and a tv bracket yeah, so you've got the tv bracket for the bedroom as well so that's three everything. places for your telly yeah. didn't show you that uh, so yeah hopefully we've now showed you everything on this little lunar clubman si it's 2015 it's just come in um let us know what you think in the comments if you like the video give us a thumbs up and thanks for watching